everyone and welcome back to our hardcore Minecraft world. In the last video we made this panda sanctuary and with all this recent progress in our world I'm getting more and more scared of dying. So we gotta work on that. I think today we can try some netherite mining and turn our diamond armor into netherite. That should make me feel more safe. Although first our other goal for today is to get the emerald traits around here really going. So we have these farmers. I think this one's stuck. There you go buddy. Anywho these two sell pumpkins and melons and they sell them for one emerald each which we could really profit off if we had an automatic pumpkin and melon farm and the master plan here Mitzi is that if we get enough emeralds then we can buy enchanting books off other villagers and then we can add those books to our armor and hopefully we won't die so I did just finish digging out this big hole for the pumpkin and melon farm in the side of a hill so here's the montage of that Redstone farms tend to be pretty ugly so I want to kind of hide it away but we'll also make the entrance area pretty. Before we get started we might need to gather some resources. The farm is mainly made of pistons and observers. Oh we might need some more iron and as for observers we're gonna need nether quartz. Okay let's start by mining some iron. Hmm let's make a new tunnel. I'm feeling the vibes here. The vibes all right. I knew I felt it. Oh is it just one? Oh no. This two, three. Well, I'm gonna keep going until we have quite a bit more. Oh, coal. Now we have a decent amount of iron, let's smelt it up and go to the nether. We also got heaps of copper. Ah, we're running out of space. We need a storage room. Boat cat. I need a ride to the nether portal. Thank you. You can guard the portal for me. Well, there's not a lot of quartz in a crimson forest. I wonder if we'll just be lucky enough to dig into it. Oh, here it is. Looks like quite a bit. This might be enough. Oh, here's a little bit more, but it's over lava. Maybe if we just... Here we go. That'll do it. I'm out. Now that we should have all the supplies we need, let's head over and start making this farm. Our first step is to replace the ugly stone walls and floor with wood. So we're hollowing that out now and using jungle wood. Much better. We'll leave the ceiling for now just because when we're building the farm we'll have to check what height it should be at. But our next step right now is to create a row of water along the back here. Since we're making a pumpkin and melon farm this whole area is going to be full of them and they'll need a water source. So a bucket there and a bucket here. Then we make big rows of dirt for all the crops to sit on. By the way, I'm just doing this from memory, but I'll link a tutorial below. Then we hoe every second plot on the ground and we plant the pumpkin and melon seeds. Oh, I think we'll need more water sources. We can probably do it in the wall. Perfect. Now we plant the seeds. Now the pumpkins and melons will grow on these dirt patches, so we need pistons above every one. And we need observers above all of these stems. And this is kind of awkward because they have to be facing the right direction. Um, how are we doing this? What if we place dirt and then we can kind of go like that? Nope, try again. Oh, that did it. That's the right way. We did it. It's a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. We even have stuff in the chests. So I did just add a collection system. Oh, how do I get here? It's just a pretty simple railway with a minecart and a hopper. And it puts the items in the chests. Now we can decorate and we should probably start with the ceiling. We'll fill that in with jungle wood. Next, I want to make some stairs and do kind of a border around this. So we we'll use a mixture of dark oak pillars and stairs. And I'm leaving a gap here because I think I'd like to cover it in glass. And if we put stairs along here, we'll still be able to get at the chests. And then a row along the top. Sadly, I think these trapdoors are still going to be in the way of the glass, so we might have to remove these. You know, I might strip these. Here's our little farm window and now we can detail it. And we'll do some terraforming to reshape this a little bit nicer. Ugh, it's so full of dirt. Wait, I have an idea. Moss. I think I have some here. Ta-da! We can take out some of these sides to add some cute little shelves. Maybe with a little chest and a lantern. And we'll do something similar here. Although there's even more room. We can have a crafting table, a chest, and a pot plant. Oh, and maybe a lantern? Oh yes. Then I think we'll make the area around it pretty overgrown, so we'll want to add some leaves. 
They could even be hanging down. Something like this. Finally, I have a lot of plants to decorate with. And with some little overgrown details, the farm is done. I like that you can see what's going on with all the redstone components. We've got these little glowing signs of pumpkins and melons and some extra storage. Wait, I completely forgot we used full glass blocks so that means we can actually put things on here. Like that. It looks so cute, kind of looks like the stems. And we've stationed Mitzi at the entrance for now so that no creepers follow us in. But now let's check what we've got and do some trading, since the whole point of this is to make some emeralds. We can use the crafting table and make these into full melons. Let's go see our farmers in the greenhouse. They love melons, they're gonna be very happy. Sup my dudes? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit you. I have a treat for you. <gasps> Ooh, that gave us good XP. Let's try you. I think they're both leveling up. Oh, they sell cake now. Let's do the pumpkins. Level 30 and over a stack of emeralds. We'll buy a celebratory cake and we'll save the rest. Oh, one day we could probably make a beacon out of emeralds. Then I would truly feel rich. Wait, wait, wait. We've still got a bunch of pumpkins. Oh, I've walked in on something here. Hello? I'm sorry to interrupt. I want to trade more. Okay, now they're maxed out, but with 31 levels, I kind of want to try our luck enchanting a book. Let's just see what it gives us. Sharpness, unbreaking, bane of arthropods. Do we have sharpness? Ah, we do. What about if we block a couple of shelves? Sometimes that gives different results. Sharpness, protection, bane of arthropods. Wait, I think we could use protection one. Oh, we could add it to our chest plate. Gonna go ahead and do that. Beautiful. And we'll put the book on the armor. Ah. My anvil broke. Luckily, earlier we went mining for iron, so that's not a problem. Protection too. We are getting there with the good armor. It's slow, but it's happening. Although speaking of that, our other task today was to go get netherite. Then we can really strengthen our armor. I think we're just about ready to do that. I just want to go mend my pickaxe real quickly. Because if we don't do that, it'll definitely die while we're digging around in the nether. So I took a quick trip to the mob farm and then we headed on our way. Well, we're here. We just did our portal though, which is on very high ground, so we should probably try to get a bit lower. Yeah, we're on level 68. And for ancient debris, we want to be on level 16. Okay, here's lava level. I guess we should find a place not too close to the lava and start digging. Except there's kind of lava everywhere. Maybe this way? We made it, level 16. We didn't even come across any lava. I've turned on chunk borders, so we'll try mining along chunk borders. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we found the lava. I think that was more than one source block as well. So, oh no, I don't want it. You know, maybe we'll just go a different way. That way belongs to lava. Oh, oh. really? Maybe over here? I can still hear the lava, but it's better so far. But where is the debris? Maybe we'll go along here. We ended up searching with no results for well over half an hour, which is honestly quite a while to not find any ancient debris. Along the way, I was collecting nether quartz whenever we came across it to help mend our pickaxe. And then behind some of the quartz, I found this. Oh my gosh, finally, our first piece. And it's all because we decided to mine out this quartz. <gasps> There's two, yes, are there three? Probably not. Uh, yes, hidden in the depths. Ah, the overworld. Boat cat. We got 16 pieces. That's enough for all of our armor. We're not quite done with the nether yet, but we have a very full inventory. And I want to make our armor. So let's see. Drop off all our quartz and gross nether egg. And we smelt this, right? Yeah, we'll do the rest in this one. And then we get our scrap and we combine it with gold. And now we get to put it on our armor. Let's do it. One on our helmet. One on our chest plate. One for our leggies. And one for our little booties. <gasps> Ooh, cover me in debris. I forgot about that. Let's actually cover ourselves in debris. Ooh, look at us. Oh yeah. Let's test this by going straight back to the nether. 
We need somewhere dangerous to help us test it. Plus, I kind of want to do some nether exploring. Oh, and I want to mend our pickaxe. Maybe we can kill some endermen. Oh, hold on. I better swap out my boots, sadly. I think I've seen a glimpse of the warped forest near the fortress. Oh, I wonder what's up there, though. Probably just hoglands, to be fair. Uh-oh, I was right. Oh, there's a lot of quartz over here. We can fix our pickaxe. I think we're getting kind of lost here. I don't know where... Whoa! We found the warped forest and one of these biomes. The salt delta? I don't think I've seen one yet in this world. Uh, how do we get down? I think we'll just try to dig our way down. I'm sure we can jump this. We just need to put our feather falling boots on. Wee. Hey. And then I guess we should mark that this is where we came from. Oh, there's a lot of ghasts. What is this? There's three of them. Why can't I get you? Yes. Let's go to this biome though. It's so pretty. We can take all the plant life and the beautiful wood. I love this biome so much. It's so magical and it's not even very dangerous. Just don't look at the endermen. Although speaking of that, maybe we should look at them. I want to get some ender pills. Oh, there's one over here. We're going to do this the safe way. Hey. Oh. Oh. Still kind of scared me. Even though I know I'm safe. Oh, it dropped the thingy. But wait. No ender pill? No ender pill. We can try again if we can find any more. Where are they? Hello? Wait, I think there's actually no more endermen around. We tested our armor on a ghast which did very little damage. And eventually we found a few more endermen, although we only got one pearl. It's a start. A pearl! Pearl, pearl, pearl. I think we'll come back here another time when we're actually looting. But we got all the pretty warped blocks. And we figured out our armor is pretty good against endermen and ghasts. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm very over the nether for a while. But I'm glad we got that done. I think next episode we might focus on a village library or maybe a storage room. But I think that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll be trading away with my farmers until I see you in the next one. Bye bye